get paid is I go and I take out my rent. I feel like that's the most important bill ever. So until after I did my research and stuff, I used to get these big knots in my skin. Like it used to be big, hard knots in the kitchen. And as I was opening the refrigerator door, I was thinking like, dang, I'm really living in this house opening the refrigerator door getting orange juice out and then i'm thinking about dang i'm really not in the apartment no more dang like my not dang as in a bad thing but it's like wow like wow like this is really my life like i just my life was this a whole year ago and now it's this you know and I just started thinking about him, and I came in the room, I started looking up his name on the internet, going back to the news articles, and looking up everybody that that's involved, and just, just everything. Then I started looking at TJ, I'm like, hello you guys, yeah, it's been so long, it really has just been two weeks, but it feel like forever, but... Y'all, today I'm coming with a life update and a little Q&A because I asked y'all to ask me some questions and stuff so I can have some questions for my Q&A. And yeah, y'all, and y'all just bear with me because it just, I, I, I don't know, like I just feel so, it feels so awkward picking up the camera now. But before we get into it, I'm about to read y'all a prayer real fast from out of my book and y'all y'all always ask me where i get this book from the link is in my description box so y'all know i'm just about to flip a little page and 24 25 i'm gonna say 25 24 because yeah okay dear god show me how to trust you even when i can't trace you lord show me how to trust you even when i'm trying Dear God, show me how to trust you even when I can't trace you. Lord, show me how to trust you even when everything I try to do seems to be stuck with no sign of change. This morning, I surrender my every thought and feeling to you because you are Elroy. I think it's an Elroy. No, man. Not God being called Elroy. Because you are Elroy, the one who sees me, and you know exactly what I am going through. Father God, help me to remember your word every time I naturally try to think of a master plan to strategize myself out of what I am going through. I must keep reminding myself that you know what's best for me. Help me to not be so impatient with change to come that I put my hand in it and delay what you are shifting on my behalf. This is for me, y'all. This is crazy. Father God, you know what I don't know and you see what I can't see. Your word says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. What I think you are doing is not even touching the surface of all the moving pieces. You are strategically, <laughs> strategically, oh my God, setting up and rearranging behind the scenes just for your will to be done in my life. So, Jesus, as I push through and spend uninterrupted time with you, show me how to be still and let God have his way because I know that he is making a way out of no way. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all, this is for me. It's crazy that I read this because this is for me, y'all. Let me take a picture of this real fast. And send it to my friend. The first question is, how do you manage your money and bills and etc.? So, first of all, the first thing I do when I get paid is I go and I take out my rent. I feel like that's the most important bill ever. Like, that's the first thing that I, that I go do is take out my rent. But I'm really not the best at managing money. Like, I'm really not. I'm still working on it. And right now, I'm actually working on, like, um... Like making bill templates, like when you be able to go and put in your bills and stuff, and then you know check out when you done paid for that month and stuff like that. So if y'all want me to um put up that little template for sale, it'll probably be like for a dollar or two dollars. If y'all want me to do that, let me know in the comments, and I'll make templates for all of us. I'll do like different styles, you know. Everybody got different styles, but I am not the best at managing my money. If I was, I'd probably be reach right now but yeah i just always make sure that i take out my bill money first and yeah 
Um, have you found love yet? I know it was. I know how hard it was losing your boyfriend. Um, did you have any? Did you have any symptoms of diabetes before you found out that you had it? Had it. So I do got a video on my page. It's like one of my first few videos that I ever made. When I found out I had um diabetes, this was a week after my 16th birthday. I got so sick. I'm talking about so sick. I got so sick. Like y'all, my eyes was like I looked like a skeleton. I'm gonna be for real. I looked like a skeleton. I hadn't got my skin hadn't got darker. And like this all just happened one day. It happened one day, y'all. I just got sick out of nowhere. That day I had a I had a fish sticks, I had pizza, and I had Chinese food. And I ate it all at one time. Like I was eating all the different food at one time. And I think that's probably what it triggered it. But before then, like I I probably did you know what? I ain't know until after I did my research and stuff. I used to get these big knots in my skin. Like, it used to be big, hard knots. They used to, it really used to be all in my back. That's one sign. And then I got real sick, got real small. I was throwing up everything. Like, I was even throwing up water. Like, just go back and watch that video and you will see all the signs that I had. And, you know, everything that happened when I found out I had diabetes. Um, how do you manage to take care of three kids in time for yourself? Um, first of all, my daughter just went to um just started. Well, she didn't just start the school. It's been like a couple of months now, but my daughter started school. And once my daughter started school, I just went on ahead and put my boys in daycare. They go to daycare three days out of the week. So those three days out of the week, I take that time just for myself. I get anything that I need done done if i can do it on those days and just you know having them at daycare i can come back home and zayla being in school i come back home sometimes i can go to sleep and yeah i have i just started school so um two two of those days i go to school but that's only for like from 8 to 12 so after i get home from school then i just i come home and rest sometimes i go to sleep or sometimes I go and just do what I got to do for the day. I also make to-do lists. I'm about to show y'all how I make my to-do list. I used to um write everything down. I need to start back writing everything down. But lately, I've just been putting them up in my notes and stuff. And I just make my to-do list for that day. Or I make it for the whole week. So, doing that, I'll be able to, you know, figure out what time I'm going to have for me. And also, um... You know, if you have family, you know, you let let them go with their family or something sometimes. Even if it's for a few hours a day. Just being able to, I keep biting my gum. Just being able to just have a little bit of time to yourself. That'll keep you sane, girl. That'll keep you sane and intact. Because if you're not getting no breaks at all, that, that is hard. That is hard. That, that, that'll mess with you mentally. I'm telling you. That would mess with you mentally. I asked me, um, how are you dealing with the loss of your baby father, Zedekiah's dad? Y'all, things have gotten easier and stuff. Like, I have, I still had, like, the other, like, last night, like, I was just up. I had just started research, just going and searching up his name and going back, looking at the news articles and just looking at everything like i i still have those nights and stuff but everything that got easier for me like i didn't accept it the fact but when i had those nights like that i'll still be like dang like this really happened like and then like y'all know what triggered that i was walking up in the kitchen i had a low sugar last night and i was just walking in the kitchen and as i was opening the refrigerator door I was thinking like, dang, I'm really living in this house, opening the refrigerator door, getting orange juice out. And then I'm thinking about, dang, I'm really not in the apartment no more. Dang, like my, not dang as in a bad thing, but as like, wow. Like, wow, like this is really my life. Like I just, my life was this a whole year ago and now it's this. You know, 
And I just started thinking about him. And I came in the room. I started looking up his name on the internet, going back to the news articles and looking up everybody that that's involved and just, just everything. Then I started looking at TJ. I'm like, like I'm about to tell y'all my exact thoughts. I'm looking at TJ like, TJ, this is your dad. You know, like, every time I look at my baby and just when he, I just text his grandma's just, like, we in a group chat, and I just text him, like, TJ just started drinking out of a straw, and, you know, I'm so happy that, like, he learning all this stuff, but I'm still sad and upset at the fact that, like, you know, his dad not here to witness all this, and, you know, like, he don't got his dad to, he don't understand yet, but, you know, like, he don't have his dad to say, I'm proud of his son or something like that, you know? So I still had those moments really just thinking about my baby, like how he going to feel like. I know a lot of people go through it, but it's just, I don't know. Like my baby going to go to school one day and it's going to be Father's Day and everybody. I don't know what people do for Father's Day in school, <laughs> but, you know, I just think about the little stuff like. I don't know. I don't know. But I've been dealing with it. Um, how do you feel about Zayla starting school and do she like it? Um, I didn't I've just been accepting the fact about a lot of stuff lately, y'all. I didn't just had to accept the fact that Zayla is in school. This is gonna be her life for the next few years, and I can't just up and just Take her out of school because I'm feeling sad or my anxiety going crazy and stuff like that. Like, I still have those moments. I just, like, I hope ain't nobody bullying my baby or, you know, I just I just want my baby girl to just be happy and just, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> um, How long did it take for you to start making money on TikTok? So, y'all, when... I gotta, I'm a, I might show y'all because I really don't feel like getting up and stopping and stuff. Last month, I wrote um up in my notebook. I was like, I'm going to get monetized on TikTok in October of 2023. Like, I write down my stuff and, you know, I let God do what he do. So, I just started posting more consistently on TikTok. Make sure y'all go follow me on TikTok if y'all don't already. I started posting more on TikTok. I try to make sure that I put like put out quality content and I didn't gain like I think I had five thousand some subscribers. So yeah I didn't gain about five thousand, four thousand subscribers and let not subscribers, followers in less than a um in less than a month. So I'm gonna be making an ebook how to grow your TikTok in less than a month and make sure y'all purchase it. I'm gonna let y'all know just stay tuned for that. And I'm not monetized yet. I applied for it and I just got to get out of it still situated. So, yeah. But I can start making money from TikTok. Um, somebody said, what am I in school for? I am in school for dental assistant, y'all. I don't think I told y'all when I first started school earlier this year when I just up and stopped going. But I'm in school for dental assistant, y'all. I have been going for three weeks. It's about to be four weeks starting next week. And y'all, it have been going so smoothly this time. Like, I just been turning my work in on time. And if you follow me on Instagram, I told y'all how I kind of got off track with my schoolwork and stuff. And I got a report done. I got all my work done in like three hours, y'all. Like, school have just been going smoothly for me. And I just, I've been living it. Like, I just, I just been living it. So, yeah. I'm just praying to God that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because this is just something that I up and started back doing. I ain't think about it or nothing. I just started back doing it. So I just pray to God that this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now in this season because I just up and did it. <laughs> do you ever run into supporters? Do I? Like, I did not realize how many people, like, who stay, like, who stay where I stay at. I did not know that many people watch me. Like, lately, every time I go through a drive-thru or something, people be like, Oh my God, I watch you on YouTube. I watch you on TikTok. But I did have this little experience like two weeks ago. I was in um Bojangles line, y'all. And this car pulled up beside me. And they was kind of slow. Like, they went up. 
And then they back, back. I'm like, what's going on? Like, what? <laughs> and they let down their window, and I'm still looking like. And so I let down my window. And they was like, um, she was like, my daughter said, um, are you that YouTuber? I was like, yeah. I hate y'all see me. I'm looking like this. Y'all had on a blended or something, but I know I looked it rough. And she was like, yeah, my daughter was taking pictures of you, and I told her not to post you looking like that. I was like. <laughs> Y'all, and I tell y'all, they probably did not mean no harm or nothing, but it threw me out so much. I drove around for a whole hour before I went home. Like, I just wanted to make sure that nobody follow me or nothing because that right there just, they had me shook up, y'all. Um, are you still thinking about moving into an apartment or, or are you good now? Um, I still want to move into an apartment, y'all. Like, my mind have not changed or nothing. I still want to, but I'm just praying to God and that he tell me what to do. And if I, I just, I'm just waiting on God. I just need somebody to walk into my, walk up to me and tell me God told you to apply for the apartment. Like, that's what I'm waiting for. Like, I, that's what I'm waiting for. I love my house and stuff, but I still feel like it's too much for me. Especially financially, like, oof. <laughs> like, when I first moved here, like, I, I knew, like, I knew that I was getting myself into. But now that I didn't be here for a couple of months, it's like, dang, like, all my money really is going into bills. Like, I don't even be having that much extra money to just go spend on myself no more like all my money just been going into bills grocery gas the kids like i really don't be having the extra the extra funds no more so i'm really ready to downsize so that i can just you know start back saving how i want to and just yeah so um how old is tj now tj is eight months y'all Y'all, I caught y'all. I was in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen, um, seasoning my chicken, and TJ was on the floor. And then I stopped to, to look at TJ to see what he doing. And I'm looking for TJ, looking for TJ. Could find TJ nowhere. So I'm going upstairs to see if he up here with Zayla and Javi. Y'all, this boy was crawling up the steps, y'all. I'm about matter of fact, I'm about to let y'all see the video. Y'all, TJ was crawling up the steps. So now I gotta get some baby gates and just keep an extra eye on him because he he can't be doing stuff like that. <laughs> but um, hello. Uh, sorry, y'all. Um, how are you doing spiritually? Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. And this is the reason why I ain't even been posting like that. When I tell y'all the attack has just been, they just been coming at me and I ain't been knowing how to handle it. I know when I'm getting attacked and stuff, that should be those moments that I just run straight to God. But y'all, two or three months ago, like my whole life just, it kind of went back to my old self. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. Like, I'm, I try to be as real as possible with y'all because I just, I, I, I don't want to be, I, I'm not a fake person. I try to be real with everybody. Y'all, I was going through the season of loneliness and just the season of, like, I kind of missed my old self. I kind of missed, like, I know that was nothing but the enemy in my mind, in my head. And I just, I wasn't running to God. I just, I kind of just, I kind of let him win that battle. And y'all... I 
took a drink. Then I took another drink and another drink. I took drinks. And I said I would never do it again. And I was disappointed in myself. I really was disappointed in myself. I was angry at myself. I was, it was to the point that I was ashamed. Like I was ashamed to like y'all know how I put the Bible scripture, the Bible scripture, scripture up in my um in my intro. Like it was to the point I was like I can't I can't even put this in my intro because like I, I I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not what what I'm trying to say. I am not. I am not displaying. I am not displaying what the woman, a woman of God, look like. I think that's what I'm trying to say, but that's not what I'm trying to say. It's another word, but it was to the point like I did not even feel comfortable even putting the Bible scripture up in my intro. Cause I, I knew what I was doing and you know, I said I wasn't going to do it no more. And then here I go doing it again. And it's like, I don't know, but I find I've been praying to God. I've been praying to God to send me people to just help me because like I was talking to, I, I don't want to call her my counselor. She's like my spiritual mother. That's what I'm going to call her. My spiritual mother. We talked yesterday on a one on one call, like I was so happy to just be able to let all of that out. But she was like, You're not doing as bad as you're trying to make it seem like, you know, you just you made a mistake and you gotta for, for repent and you gotta, you know, grow from that. You know, you can't keep repenting and going back and doing the same things that you that you used to do. You just gotta pray to God and you gotta ask him to help you get back on track. You can't keep beating yourself up because you you know, you slipped up one time, you know. So, yeah, I just been praying try, and trying to get back to how I was because I just, I let, I just let all of that just get me off track. Like, not making my videos consistently how I was and, <sighs> yeah. And what else? Oh, and y'all was getting on me when I had went to that adult adult store. Y'all was getting on me, and y'all was right. Like <laughs> y'all was right. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all was right. I, I can say that y'all was right, cause that it really did open up portals to other stuff, and that got me all track. Like I just been distracted. My mind been distracted. To the point where I couldn't, I couldn't even focus on God. Like I was just living life for my own self and not for God, you know. And when I'm living life for my own self, I said this in a TikTok video. I start to just be so depressed. My the anxiety start acting, just my anxiety be through the roof. I be so fearful and everything. Like when I'm, you know, when I'm living for God, I still experience those spiritual attack. But when I'm living for myself, it be even worse than those spiritual attacks. Like the anxiety, depression, all of that. It just be, it just have me a mess. My life feel like it's out of control. I can't handle it. And it's all because I just lost touch with God. I got off track. And yeah, y'all. That's been my spiritual journey. That's kind of it, y'all. A lot of this stuff, y'all was asking me real personal, so I don't think I'm going to answer it on here. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of this video. Please, y'all let me know any video recommendations. I've been having creators block lately, so y'all let me know what y'all want to see. Like, tell me what kind of content y'all want me to switch up into doing because I really want to start doing different stuff outside of mom content. So y'all just let me know. Y'all help me out a little bit. Y'all can leave it in the comments. Y'all can text me on my email, on my Instagram. And yeah, I love y'all so, so much. I thank y'all for sticking with me through all my inconsistency and inconsistency. Y'all know what I'm saying. But I love y'all so much. And I will see y'all on the next video.